Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought today, with me and my little girl, we go for a walk into Canic Chase. We'll see if we can find a wooded area. It's not too difficult. Have you seen how many mushrooms are crush again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We've been walking for miles and miles and miles. Up, my legs are killing it. Just kidding, the car's there. <laughs> Let's go. I just saw someone walking in the woods. Oh yeah? Are you okay with that? Normal nine year olds would be scared. What, this place? Yeah, slender men, black eyed children. You don't think a nine year old would want to come here? No. Beautiful place. I am. place is absolutely massive. Get lost easy. Oh you can get lost in here dead easy. That's why I've Should we head into that wood? And that is exactly why I've brought some water. Some water. Yeah we got this nice little trail down here. Well, we should say it. <laughs> Was you not? No. You were oh. Are you now? Yeah. Just cut that part out. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I'd like to walk over there, but it looks very thick. We'll stick to the path. Like <laughs> yeah. Well, now look, we will find Slenderman. Or a black eyed. Well, we're not out looking for them. No, we're not. Trying to enjoy a nice day. Up. Oh, that's what I saw. Bikers. There's people on bikes. There is some people on YouTube who bike through Canic Chase. Maybe there's a good one. some weird critter there. Anybody knows what that is? Leave a comment. Because I ain't got a clue. It looks like some sort of dragonfly, but. I don't know, the body doesn't look long enough. Where is it? Just there. Oh, oh. it's gone. There yeah, it is. that's a dragonfly. I think. Definitely a dragonfly. Could be. So we decided to relocate about, what was it, a one minute drive? Not even to a better location, as you can see, this is heavily wooded. And the sun's come out, it is an absolutely glorious day. And there's a man walking by himself up there, looking rather sketchy. What do you think he's up to here? Eh? Probably just trying to walk around, having a good time. Yeah, exactly. A bit Make of exercise. Sure you're recording this time. <laughs> yeah, it is. Good. Probably not the best footwear to be wearing in the woods. The long grass we were walking through before is giving us. Wet feet. I haven't got wet feet, I've got thick socks on. <laughs> you alright there, sweetheart? No. <laughs> you want some help? Yeah. Okay. He's boring. You and the birds chirping is amazing. The sound of nature. What nature? The nature of seeing black eyed children. <laughs> That's guaranteed what we're going to find. And the unfortunate that, sound so of cars them. passing by, but hopefully the camera won't pick that up. Well, there's, well, there's three things we're going to find. One, nothing. Two, black eyed children. Or three, Slenderman. My daughter is obsessed with Slenderman. Black eyed children, she's obsessed. <laughs>
you'd freak if you saw them. So we're there. That's why we're not too far oh, yeah, from the it's, car. It's all fun and jokes until you actually see them. Yeah. Then you'll be scared, but if you know what they're going to do and all their tactics, like I do, you know how to survive from them, you know how to run away from them. Miles and miles and miles. Look at you. Nothing but heavy Green woods and, and forests. And greenery. In the middle of nowhere in the Staffordshire County. Yay. And a chase. So we found ourselves in the middle, well not in the middle, but near enough, of a heavy wooded area. Which and there was also a person behind you. Absolutely amazing. You're wondering what that is, I drew that. My daughter is dry drawing. Arrows. Because you were hopeless by day before direct. And you were always using me to be able to remember everything. Like last time. Yeah. There was also a beautiful dog there. In case we get lost. Yes. Because you know he's hopeless for direct. Come on, go play it with me. Beautiful. I love this place. I think a tent. Yeah, well, should we keep moving that way? It'd be nice to camp here. The bugger's still there. Away. Yeah, come on. We'll carry on. <laughs> My daughter drawing arrows. Be quiet. You're hopeless for directions, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Not that way. This way. Yeah, let's wander up here. See what we can stumble across. I keep on drawing arrows because there's several paths over here and I don't want us to end up going on one of them and then ending up on another coming back here. Nah, we're and not gonna loop again. We're not gonna venture too far, darling. If you say that we're literally in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful though. Where's that dog gone? Uh so, I don't know. Oh, us. right Why up the back there, I see. Things, like yeah. in three, two, one. They eat, they eat stuff so quick as if it's going to disappear in three, two, one. <laughs> because a lot of dogs are like, food, give me, give me it now. <laughs> well, that's Amber should eat anything apart from the one. Scuffle a lot before anybody else takes you it away. Give Amber a banana, she won't eat it. Give her anything else, she will. Can I tell you as well? Yeah. My most favourite food is chicken and apples. Chicken and apples? Every time I bring home an apple, she always sniffs, she always sniffs my lunchbox. <laughs> Got anything for me? <laughs> yes, I have. Another one. I haven't seen much in the way of wildlife here, apart from dogs. Here she is. More arrows, just in case. Well, you know you're hopeless for direct. Hey. Absolutely beautiful when the sun's out, honestly. What a beautiful day. I hope there's some other drink. It is time for a drink. Yeah, go on then. Thank you, sweetheart. You know, when you're thirsty, water tastes amazing. When you're on a diet. That as well. Water solves everything. If you're thirsty, just drink water. If you're on a diet, just drink water. Yes. If you want to get revenge on, on a friend that stabbed you in the back, 
drown them with water. <laughs> Such a pleasant girl. <laughs> I think she's paranoid in case we're going to get lost. Quite Bless her. <laughs> Come on. What, we just took another turn. What do you want me to do? No, you You're absolutely right. You change direction so you draw an arrow. Good idea. We're getting into a slightly wilder yeah, part here. here. Well, yeah. And yet you'd be using your map and have no service, probably. Yeah. Ooh, the ground's getting a bit squishy. Your, uh, What's that, darling? Is your phone still using your uh, data? Or is it actually using Wi Fi now? No, it's just data. Still? That's if there's any signal out here. No, I mean at the house. Oh no, it fixed itself the next day. It was oh, fine. Good. Right. Who is that? Yes, yeah, lots of flies and bees. <laughs> this place is beautiful. Just a shame it's in an area where I don't want to live. And if it was back in the northeast of England where I do want to live, I think I'd be here every opportunity I could be. More arrows, sweetheart. Lovely. Is that the path we went on over there before? No, it wasn't. Arrow, that okay, fair enough. Not that Right. Well, he's got to be safe. Got to be safe. Slow coach. Slow coach. <laughs> Another one. Another arrow. Josh, I'm being safe, you're not. So. Disabled people. We was, uh just decided to drive somewhere else after having a nice walk in the woods which was amazing and we just happened to stumble across a German war cemetery here graves going back from World War One and two there's a sign there suggesting there's another cemetery up there we have a look in a bit Try this one. Don't it's walk kept. Over there. No. Yes. It is well maintained. This. Well, these are British. Because that is Bedford and Hertfordshire Regiment, London Irish Rifles, Leicestershire Regiment. All something to do with New Zealand as well. Died 1918. I bet these these were just kids as well. Were they? they would have been just young soldiers, darling. Kids. A lot of them. Well, I say kids. You know, I mean, they might have been 18, 19, 20. Some of them were, were even younger. Well. Yes, there's, uh, I'll have to tell you a little bit about that. It was, uh, Stop walking on them, you little bugger. <laughs> Walk where I am on my feet. Wow, this is cool, this. 
well, I say it's cool. It's, I mean, I mean that in a sort of respectable way. Nothing's cool about seeing dead people, but you know. Well, we're not seeing them. We're just looking. At them. Absolutely. Let's come read that sign over there. I want to see what that's all about. Might tell you a little bit more information. I'm coming to get you. Yeah. <laughs> what was that you were reading there, darling? Which part? Yeah. A hospital for 12 hours. Yeah, soldiers for the Western Front. Wow. Interesting, eh? Today, over 170,000 men and women who died in the United Kingdom were serving in the armed forces during the First and Second World Wars are buried in cemeteries and churchyards throughout the country. Some burials from small war, war graves plot within larger cemeteries, but the majority are scattered. Throughout the cemetery grounds. Throughout the cemetery grounds. All these soldiers, for some strange reason, they all died in December. And then the next row, they're all November. But they're all in the same year of 1918. Now we get into the 10th and then the 9th. Yeah, they've buried them all in what month they've died. He died in 1970. Yeah, they all did. No, 1918. No, all of them did. But look, yeah, 1917. 1917. 1917. All along. All 1917. Yeah. Visitors are also reminded Yes, we do have snakes. We have adders, grass snakes. I thought you said Abba, Mamma Mia. <laughs> so yeah, if you see any snakes, stay clear. Okay, so we come a little bit further, way down that path where the other cemetery was. And we've stumbled across another one. Ah. This is all fenced off. Yeah. I don't know if we can Come get here. in. Come hither. My daughter is calling. Come hither. Come you hither. Put the car down here, you know. Hey? You could have put the car down here, you know. I know. Private car park for visitors to German military centre. Centre. You could have put the car down here and parked here. Yeah, but it closes at four o'clock. So we cross quicker. <laughs> we'll not be here that long anyway. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Yes, interesting. Is it summer or winter? Summer. The other one was fairly small. This is. Is that Peter Carmel? <laughs> Peter Carmel, is that you? Oh, no, that's Jesus, is that you? There's Yeah, I was going to go through there, but we, we'll come back that way. Wow, 
side by side with their comrades, the crew of four Zeppelins shot down over England during the First World War. Here yeah, found their eternal resting place. The fallen were brought here from the original burial place at Potter's Bar. Each of the crew are buried in caskets in one grave. Wow. I had absolutely no idea. Oh my god, over here is amazing. This is beautiful. These steps. Yes. Um, oh, there we go. This is a, yeah, I didn't even know this existed. Oh my God. I didn't even know a cemetery. This is illegal. <laughs> I thought the other one was just a, a war cemetery, but this is absolutely massive. Well, compared to the other one it is. Among them, among them lie three unknown of the former, of the former, and ninety unknown of the latter. All died in British territory. Wow, ninety unknown soldiers from the Second World War. I think it means twenty-one forty-three, because if you look here, uh -huh. in the non-English twenty-one forty-three here thirteen, I think it means twenty-one forty-three. Okay. Look at this. Rudolph, Rudolph has died here. He was born the 28th of June. Rudolph died here. These people are not very old Rudolph, at all. Rudolph. Rudolph. Rudolph died here. Yeah, there's a lot of Rudolphs. German Rudolph, name, funny enough. Oh, <laughs> Rudolph, 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 Hey, you crap. Bye bye. Wow, this place is Wolfgang. pretty cool, actually. Wolfgang. Wolfgang. <laughs> Wolfgang Bernhardt. I think I'll stick to the Wolfgang. Anyway, that was a nice look around the uh, German cemetery. So, uh, what we're going to do now is head back to the car. Yes. And my daughter insists that she wants to go to McDonald's. However, there's an American diner not too far away. So, now let's just uh, let's go to the Fred Bear See if we can check the diner out. Nice big burger. Yeah. The daughter wants pancakes. Anyway. <laughs>